There's a view here in the Hoosier state that officials have flattened the curve of COVID-19 and that their health care facilities are not going to be overrun in the future. But confidence in Indianapolis does not necessarily resonate in parts of Indiana close to Chicago. In Porter County's Chesterton, trepidation. I did not think that we would be opening this early, meaning the state. I thought we would be a little bit more, you know, kind of conservative in regards to it. Wagner has paid bills with some online and by appointment sales, but walking that fine line between economic and human health remains a struggle here. Some people on one side want things opened right away. Those on the other side want to take a very slow pace. I believe the right answer is somewhere in between. Kenneth Allen is a leading civil rights attorney and community leader in Northwest Indiana. The longer we remain dormant, uh, the more likely it is we'll not be able to recover as a community, as, as a country. People will be encouraged to return to work as part of stage two reopening. For retailers, that means sales from just 50% of their space. But even that won't happen at the outlet mall in Michigan City. It will remain shuttered. The call of the first GOP mayor this Laporte County town has had in years. We're not out of this pandemic uh, because people say that we're moving to the downside of the curve uh, doesn't mean that we can act like nothing's out there anymore. Again, the governor says things can return to normal by July 4th if healthcare facilities are not overwhelmed by COVID-19. That is the measure not the number of acceptable new cases or deaths that come from COVID-19 as things start to open up. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.